So did you play baseball? I did not. Okay. My brother did, though. I okay. uh, played hockey yeah. back when I was in yeah. junior high. I knew that. Yeah. yeah. Set up and good to go. I hope I didn't box you in too much. You're right. <laughs> yeah. And I'll just stand over your shoulder if that's all right. <laughs> yeah, I feel bad about doing that too. <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't be there for the conclusion of the basketball season either. I was so sad that I missed that. But oh, the, yeah, yeah, the in Lincoln. That was freaking awesome. I tuned in as much as I could from the hospital. <laughs> no, that's okay. Yeah, that's, you had more important Yeah, things. that's what I kept telling myself. <laughs> like this is more important. You needed to do that. <laughs> we would have looked at you like you were crazy. Yeah, yeah. I considered Saturday. I was like, you know, I I could probably make it work, but I was like, yeah, no. <laughs> no, you made the right choice. <laughs> the guy who filled in for me, he's the voice of Blair High School, and oh, he does it. a great job. Good. So it was a really good broadcast still, but good. I was sad to miss the end. I tuned in every, like, because where, like, the postpartum was to where, like, the NICU was down this like really long hallway in the hospital and I had to go back and forth a lot from my wife to the kids and I, every time I walked down the hallway I always pulled it up on my phone and was listening to on the way over yep. <laughs> it worked out baby tonight
in NSAA activities. Ladies and gentlemen, join us in recognizing Tim Riskowski and Tanner Westerholt for being with us today. Gentlemen, thank you for your service and know that your hard work does not go unnoticed. And now, friends, it's time to meet today's starting lineups. First, let's meet our visitors from Crete. Leading off for the Cardinals and starting in center field, number 15, Tristan Lenhoff. Batting second, starting at shortstop, number 7, Brooks Pinning. Batting third in right field, number 9, Alex Eltzi. Batting fourth for the Cardinals, starting behind the plate, number 3, Nick Went. Batting fifth, starting at first base today, number 13, Kenner Zavitak. Batting sixth in left field, number 17, Ethan Plachik. Batting eighth for the Cardinals at third base, number eight, Mason Stone. Batting eighth at second base, number one, Patton Zvitak. And batting ninth for the Cardinals on the mound today, number two, Carson Kodal. And the rest of the Crete Cardinals. The assistant coaches of the Cardinals, Bryant Reef, Jason Collison, Tim Conway, and Max Connell. The manager is Aaron Graham. And the head coach for Crete is Will Rafferty. And now, fans, let's meet the starters for your Wahoo and Bishop Newman Warriors. Leading off for the Warriors this afternoon, starting in right field, number four, Isaiah Nagel. Batting second, starting behind the plate, number 14, Connor Booth. Batting third at shortstop, number eight, Carson Sabatka. Batting cleanup for the Warriors in left field, number five, Nolan Van Slyke. Batting fifth and DH number 11, Cody Hesser. Batting sixth at first base today, number nine, Eli Johnston. Batting seventh at third base, number one, Jay Skaminski. Batting eighth for the Warriors in center field, number seven, Sam Markson. And batting ninth at second base, number 10, K. Van Christian. On the mound today for the Warriors is right-handed pitcher, number three, Jesse Stemming. And the rest of your Wahoo and Bishop Newman Warriors. The assistant coaches of the Warriors, Nick Milliken, Kirk Johnson, Brooke Stewart, Chad Kula, and Nick Oden. And the head coach is Kyle Wires. Now, fans, if you would, please rise as we honor America with our national anthem.
And a good afternoon and welcome to uh, Sam Crawford Field in Wahoo, Nebraska on a cold, drizzly Monday afternoon. We are ready for Wahoo Bowling. April Fool's, everybody. It's baseball. How many April Fool's jokes can I get in throughout this broadcast? Austin McNorton here with you. So happy to be with you. Your Wahoo Warriors baseball squad, 4-2 and two on the season, hosting the Cardinals of Crete this afternoon, 4-6. and six on the season should be a fun one wahoo bishop newman this has been quite the interesting spring so far for these warriors so many games postponed rescheduled canceled altogether with the weather that is always taking place up here in eastern nebraska this time of year always so up in the year i, I literally could not imagine being a high school athletic director in the spring this time of year but we're excited for this one Let's go ahead and look at your starters today. First for the Cardinals, uh, batting first out in center field will be Tristan Linhoff. Batting second at shortstop, Brooks Peening. Out in right field, batting third, Alex Eltz. The catcher, batting fourth, Nick Went. Over at first and batting fifth is Kenner Svitok. Out in left field, batting sixth, Ethan Plotchek. Batting seventh, out over at third base will be Mason Stone. At second base, batting eighth is Patton Svitok. And finally, out on the mound today, batting ninth is Carson Cottle. That'll be the starters for Crete, who comes out in their road gray pants, blue jerseys, red helmets, red sleeves, white numbers. Wahoo in their home whites today here at Sam Crawford. Start out with Isaiah Nagel out in right field. Connor Booth behind home plate. Carson Sabatka at short. Nolan Van Slyke out in left. Cody Hesser will be the DH today. Eli Johnson will be standing over at first with Jace Kaminsky at third. Sam Markson out in center field. Caden Kristen, he'll be standing at second. And Jesse Stebbing will be out on the mound this afternoon for Wahoo. Should be a fun one, no doubt, as it always is. Watching this Warrior baseball squad trying to get back to the state tournament. Just like they were able to do so last season hope everyone had a great easter holiday weekend and got filled up on all the great food and festivities found those easter eggs now we're ready to go here from a cold and drizzly i don't think everyone expected it to continue to drizzle as much as it has here this afternoon in wahoo but here we are two o'clock still a little bit of a drizzle in the air and we are ready to go So Stebbing getting ready to face his first batter of the afternoon. It's the home plate umpire having a conversation with him and Booth out there on the mound. Don't know if there's an equipment question or maybe a question if the ball gets too wet. Some of those kind of things, exchanging baseballs to keep it fresh. But now it looks like we're ready to go as Linhoff, who's out in center field today, will step into the left fielder or the lefty left-handed box. We're ready to go. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Thanks to all of our sponsors who make it happen on Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public. First pitch bunted down the third base side and getting over to first after a high throw. Does he try rounding first? He kind of slipped on the grass. And we'll have to say there, he was probably going to round first. But slipped on the grass with the wet field and will be left at first. So that brings up Brooks Peeney. And that pitch is way on the inside. It actually went behind Brooks, and so now going to second without a throw will be Lindhoff. Did you mark that an error, Mike? Uh, oh. no, yeah, that was a hit. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. Okay, I was just trying to hit <laughs> the score. Yep, perfect. So Brooks Peeney now with a 1-0 count and a runner in scoring position with nobody out here in the top of the first inning for Crete. And 
And he'll show a bunt and put it right back to the mound. Stebbing has it, looks over to third and throws it to first. For out number one as Linhoff did end up going to third, but Stebbing's decided let's just get out number one. So now will bring out the right fielder batting third, Alex Eltsy. He'll stand in the right box now with a runner at third and one gone. And he popped a bunt up into the air down the first base side in foul as Booth had a little bit of a chase on it, but too far out of his way. And fascinating as I'm getting kind of behind the scenes up here in the press box here. On, normally, we're positioned outside of the press box here at Sam Crawford. But with this rain and cold weather, we're inside today, which gives me a little bit more insight behind the scenes of the press box. Next pitch has popped up down the right field side and back behind the stands foul. And what I find interesting, the legend and Bishop Newman grad Michael Klein, who's public address announcing today, he uses... The Kansas City Royals versus San Francisco Giants 2014 World Series national anthem to play before the game, which I think is just absolutely fantastic, if I'm being honest. Some people you'll see download that song, the national anthem, on their Spotify, go to YouTube, find some random playing of it. He had it on his camera roll the 2014 World Series and a called third strike from Stebbing, and that's a big one for out number two with a runner at third. And he knew exactly where it was on his camera roll, too. Pretty fantastic. So two down and a runner at third. Here for the cleanup spot, and he hits it down the first base side, and it is fair for a one-pitch single and an RBI for Nick Wint. First inning, and now a run scored. Kenner Svitok, the five-hole hitter, steps in with Wint standing over at first. Kenner will be over at first today defensively for the Cardinals. And an 0-1 count. The pickoff play it was, it Wint dives back safely. Next pitch low, called a strike. So ahead in the count once again, 0-2 is Stebbing, trying to get his second strikeout of the side. Trying to get his bats up to the plate with just one run allowed. After the leadoff single from Lindhoff, the wild pitch got him to second. He got to third on a ground out from Peeney, and then the two-out single off the first pitch from Nick Wint brought him home. And Wint now stands at first. And a 1-2 count into Kenner Svitok, who swings and grinds it back up the middle. And stepping on second for the force is Sabatka. Two hits, no walks, one run, and uh, nobody left on. We head to the bottom of the first. It's Crete 1, Wahoo 0. You're tuned in to Warrior Baseball in Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public. And we'll be right back. If you're looking for a new career, Dollar General is looking for you. Hiring all positions and all shifts, they are looking for you with a starting pay up to $22 an hour with a $2,000 sign-on bonus. You can find details by going to dollargeneral.com slash careers or by texting DG Warehouse to 25000. Must be 18 or older, but again, starting pay up to $22 an hour with a $2,000 sign-on bonus. Contact them now, dollargeneral.com slash careers. Stop at First Bank of Nebraska to get our new Wahoo Warrior branded debit card. Every transaction gives back to Wahoo Public Schools. All you need is a First Bank of Nebraska checking account and ask for the Warrior card. For more information, go to firstbanknne.com. First Bank of Nebraska. 
Serving our communities, investing in you. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Stop at First Bank of... And welcome back to Sam Crawford Field on Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public YouTube. Austin McNorton here with you on this April Fool's Day for some Warrior Baseball. Your Wahoo Bishop Newman Warriors taking on the Cardinals of Crete here on this drizzly cold Monday. Here we go to the bottom of the first after Crete had a couple of hits and a run in their top half. We'll see what the one, two, three hitters for Wahoo can do as Isaiah Nagel, who's out in right field today, steps up. The leadoff man for Wahoo from Bishop Newman Cavaliers. So you get our first look of Carson Connell, who's out on the mound today. His first pitch is hits that bottom right corner for a strike. And we saw Crete in their top half of the first. They were... Pretty aggressive at the plate. A lot of first pitch swinging. So the next pitch gets down low and between the legs of Went in the catcher's gear. Wind coming from left to right out in center field. You can see the flag out there in center blowing. And the 1-1 one -one swung on and missed for a strike. And the next pitch popped up and blooped, I should say, out in right field, right in front of Elsie out there for a hit. So both teams get a leadoff base hit in the first inning. And that'll bring up the catcher, Connor Booth, now with one on and nobody out for Wahoo. He blooped it kind of perfectly off the end of the bat and down the right field line. And Elts really saw it pretty well and got a good run on it, but just dropped way in front. First pitch into Booth is inside, ball one. Booth this season for Wahoo. With a 4-12 average, sends one out into deep center field, way deep, and it drops over the center fielder's head, Linhoff, coming to third and stopping, and it's a stand-up double for Connor Booth. And two runners in scoring position now for the Warriors as that ball just continued to go out there in deep center field. So here comes the shortstop to the plate, Carson Sabatka now with two runners in scoring position for Wahoo. An opportunity to give the Warriors the lead here. Sabatka with a 348 average this season at the plate on eight hits, 
four RBIs, two doubles. For Connor Booth, that was his second double of the year on his 412 average. Sabatka's pitch outside and a good hitter's count. 2 0. Nobody out and two on for the Warriors. The 2 0 swung on, grounded to first. Svitok will look at home and then step on first, and it's an RBI for Sabatka as Nagel comes in to score and one away. Connor Booth also went to third on that play. So we're all tied at one now here in this bottom of the first with one out and a runner at third for Nolan Van Slyke, whose first pitch is low. Van Slyke's out and left today defensively for the Warriors. Nolan with a 222 average on 21 plate appearances, four hits, and four RBIs. Looking to add an RBI number five and give Wahoo the lead. And another good hitter's count, 2-0, as Connell for Crete has fallen behind a couple of times now. Here's the pitch. It's sent out into straight center field right at Linhoff, who cannot make the play, and there is RBI number five for Nolan Van Slyke. As Connor Booth comes in to score, and the Warriors have the lead. So what a great start here for Wahoo after trailing after the top half of the first. They retake the lead quickly with one on and one out now to the designated hitter, Cody Hesser. And he looks at a pitch that catches the bottom right corner of the zone. That's one of the first times it's been a first pitch strike for Cottle out on the circle on the mound. Cody Hesser, I don't think he meant to swing at that one as he tried to check it and then it clipped off on inside on his hands. Cody also with a 222 average this season. He has four hits, three RBIs, and one double to his resume this six games into the season. Warriors with a 4-2 and two record. Leading 2-1 to one here in the bottom of the first, and Cody looks at a pitch low for ball one. Isaiah Nagel was down in the count and then got a leadoff single out into right field, followed by Connor Booth hitting one to the fence out in center field and a stand-up double. Sabatka was able to bring in Nagel from third on a ground out and now going to second. This is a close play and got him on the steal attempt. And down goes Nolan Van Slyke. That was a heck of a throw from Wint behind home plate to throw it out to Svitok, uh, or Peening, I should say, behind second, who was covering second from the shortstop spot. And just like that, there's two outs and nobody on for Cody Hesser, who has a 2-2 count. Pitch outside, and we're full. And then Nolan Van Slyke was able to bring in Connor Booth from third for the two runs here in this bottom of the first for Wahoo. Cody Hester trying to keep the inning alive with a full count. Pitch outside, called strike three. And down go the Warriors, but not without some damage. Three hits, no walks, two runs, and nobody left on. We head to the top of the second. It's Wahoo 2, Crete 1. You're tuned into Warrior Baseball. We'll be right back. 
The outcome of a legal case can have long-lasting ramifications on your finances, quality of life, and community standing. Choosing the right law firm to represent your interests and your rights is of the utmost importance. The law offices of Brome, Lindell, Freeman County, and Loster traces its history of providing legal services to residents of eastern Nebraska back to 1893. So give us a call at 402 443-3225 or stop into our office in downtown Wahoo, Nebraska today. The outcome of a legal case can have long-lasting ramifications on your finances, quality of life, and communities. And welcome back to Sam Crawford Field in downtown Wahoo, Nebraska. Austin McNorton here with you on Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public YouTube on this drizzly Monday afternoon. You're tuned in to Warrior Baseball. Wahoo leads it. Two to one as we are now in the top of the second. This pitch grounded to first. Johnson is there and he'll step on the bag himself. For out number one on Kenner Svitak, who led things off from the five-hole spot here in this second inning. And that'll bring up the left fielder, Ethan Plachik. Oh, you're right, Michael. I had that wrong. So here's the third baseman, Mason Stone, who stands in the right-hand box with one out and nobody on. And a 1-1 count against him. As he grounds it right back up the middle, sliding his Sabatka over to first. In time! What a heck of a play from Sabatka over at short, sliding behind the bag at second and delivering a strike over to Johnson at first for out number two. Wow. And that'll bring up the eight-hole hitter over at second for the Cardinals, Patton Svitok. Boy, if you're Mason Stone, there's really not much more you can do there. You put it right back up the middle, past Stebbing. You think that's going to get through, and then out of nowhere, no. And Svitok leans out of the way from a pitch that goes right by the tip of his nose for ball number one. Cardinals had two hits and a run and one left on in their top of the first inning as Lindhoff, who had a leadoff single, was brought in to score on Nick Wentz's single. Sweet talk, a pitch inside, and that caught the inside part of the zone. What a heck of a pitch that was from Jesse Stebby. Started so far and inside and then caught the inside part of the strike zone. And now he's ahead in the count one and two. And he tried it again and this time just too far inside as Svitak had to kind of duck out of the way. But he's liking that pitch here early on. There it is again and again. 
Sweet Talk ducks out of the way and the count's full. The 3 2. Swan on and miss. Strike three as Booth was able to hold on to it for the Sweeney strikeout. So no hits, no walks, no runs, and nobody left it on. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. To the bottom of the second we go. Warriors lead it two to one. We'll be right back. At Medicine Man Pharmacy, we aspire to be the pharmacy provider confidently chosen by our clients for their family's everyday health needs because of our expertise, integrity, and honestly consistently exceeding their expectations. Reliability, bright spot, value, integrity, community building, and so much more can be found at Medicine Man Pharmacy of Wahoo. At Medicine Oil Man and Farm. Propane is continuing to be family run and owned for 60 years. OOP Inc. is your Wahoo supplier for gas, diesel, propane, oil, grease, and products for your yard and acreage, including seed, fertilizer, and sprays to help keep your lawn and pastures beautiful. Find them online at OOPIncWahoo.com, call 402-443-3563, or stop by 3288 Ponderosa Drive. OOP Inc. serving for 60 years thanks to you. Hot Oil and Propane is continuing. South Haven Living Center in Wahoo is a proud sponsor of this broadcast. Recognized as a great place to work, the folks at South Haven know the importance of teamwork and the reward that comes from serving older adults. If you're looking for senior care or a rewarding career with a Nebraska-based company, give them a call or check them out online. South Haven Dash wahoo.com. South Haven Living Center. State Bank gives you the home team advantage. From the beginning of your financial experience with Penny Partners, Kids Club with Richie Rover, to student checking for those age 15 through 25, offering a variety of benefits that make banking easy when you're home or away, or if you're looking to finance the future home. Wahoo State Bank has the home team to work with you through life. Member FDIC. Wahoo State it's Warrior Baseball on Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public YouTube. Here in the bottom of the second, Wahoo leading Crete 2-1. to one. And first pitch bunting perfectly down the third base side, and Eli Johnson is in there for a leadoff single on a bunt on the first pitch. Wow. I mean, he could not have laid that down any better down the third base side. And a good start to any number two for Wahoo. As the Warriors have their fourth hit here already. As it is the six, seven, eight hitters here in this bottom of the second and a 2-1 lead. Jace Kaminsky also shows bunt and pulls it back at the last second for a ball that goes a little bit outside. And a runner at first and nobody out. Ooh, that was actually kind of a close play back at first as Johnson had to dive back on the pickoff play from Cottle over to Svitok over there. Kaminsky this season has been the best hitter for Wahoo with a 500 average in 20 plate appearances, and he lays a bunt down right back in front of Wint who throws it over to first route number one, but Kaminsky does do his job as Johnson gets into scoring position. Center fielder Sam Markson. And here's a sight to see. Sam Markson steps into the box. As this is just his third game played this season, as he spent a little bit of time in the beginning of the season. He was in Washington, D.C. on a school trip where I believe he got to tour the White House. Saw lots of pictures of that. So now he's back, and he takes one off the end of the bat and back off the fence behind home plate for strike one with one out and a runner at second. So Markson, looking at his two games, has seven at-bats, one hit, an RBI, and a run scored. 
So just a 143 average as he's trying to, quote unquote, get back in the swing of things, huh? Right? Thank you. I appreciate the little smile, if nothing else. <laughs> and now a pickoff play back at second, and Johnston slides back safely. But Sam helped us out a lot during the Wahoo title basketball season, running our camera and commercials and whatnot. He told me he's pretty excited about baseball. Well, it's his favorite sport and what he looks forward to the most. So looking to contribute here with a runner in scoring position and one out. But he's still continuing to foul some pitches off and is behind the count 0-2. As Cottle's looking for his second strikeout of the afternoon as he got Cody Hesser down looking in the bottom of the first for out number three. So the 0-2. A long look back at second. The pitch inside and caught. Thrown back to second. The throw's a little bit wild, but gets him anyway on the double play. Heck of a play from Svitok and Peening, the first and shortstop for out number three. So it's one hit, no walks, no runs, and nobody left on base. To the top of the third we go. Wahoo leads it 2-1. to one. You're tuned into Warrior Baseball. We'll be right back. And gives you the home team advantage. From the beginning of your financial experience with Penny Partners, Kids Club with Richie Rover, to student checking for those age 15 through 25, offering a variety of benefits that make banking easy when you're home or away, or if you're looking to finance the future home. Wahoo State Bank has the home team to work with you through life. Member FDIC. Wahoo State Bank gives you the home team advantage. From the beginning of your financial experience with Penny Partners, Kids Club with Richie Rover to student checking for those age 15 through 25, offering a variety of benefits that make banking easy when you're home or away, or if you're looking to finance the future home. Wahoo State Bank has the home team to work with you through life. Member FDIC. Wahoo State Bank gives you the home team advantage. From the beginning of your financial experience with Penny Partners, Kids Club with Richie Rover to student checking for those age 15 through 25, offering a variety of benefits that make banking easy when you're home or away, or if you're looking to finance the future home. Wahoo State Bank has the home team to work with you through life. Member FDIC. Wahoo State Bank gives you the home team advantage. From the beginning of your financial experience with Penny Partners, Kids Club with Richie Rover to student checking for those age 15 through 25, offering a variety of benefits. You're tuned in to Wahoo Warrior Baseball on Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public YouTube. And your Wahoo Bishop Newman Warriors lead Crete here in the top of the third, two to one. After a lengthy first inning with hits by both teams and great defensive plays. It was a very quick second inning where it was three up, three down for both teams. And now here we go in the top of the third with the nine-hole hitter and pitcher for the Cardinals. Carson Connell in his first pitch is bunted foul right in front of Carson Booth behind home plate. So Stebbing's done a great job of being able to get ahead in the counts and fight off these Crete aggressive batters who send one out into deep center field, but Markson didn't read it correctly. It goes over his head and down at the bottom of the fence. We'll see what our official scorekeeper calls this. We'll say it's a hit. As it just kind of kept going out there in center field. So Connell gets in the scoring position quickly for his Cardinals. As we go back to the top of the order now for Tristan Linoff. Crete now with three hits on the afternoon and showing bunt, pulling it back in a strike on the outside part of the zone. Linhoff had the leadoff single for Crete in the first inning. Got to second on a wild pitch. Got to third on a bunt, and then got brought home by Nick Wentz single out in the right field. Next pitch, swung on and missed, strike two. Ryan 
Runner at second, nobody out. Stebbing would love to get strikeout number three here. And keep that runner at second. Just off the end of the bat down the third base side and out of play. Just barely got a piece of it. Outside pitch again, and again it's fouled down the third base side. That one did stay in the ballpark, but too far for, really, Kaminsky was the one who had the best charge on it over there from third. So what a battle here from Linhoff. Just like he was in the first inning. Pitch outside and high. Didn't chase after that one like Jesse wanted him to. And I know the last time we talked to all you Warrior baseball fans, that was the opening day of March Madness. I wonder how everyone's brackets are doing now. This one sent out into deep right field. Nagel got a good read on it. Gets under it for out number one. And tagging up and getting to third successfully was Cottle. So a runner at third now. The tying run at third for Brooks Peeney. He's 0 for 1 today with a bunt back to Jesse Stebbing on the mound. But he was able to get Lindhoff over to third in doing so. Who then got brought in a couple of batters later. He shows Bunt again and lays it perfectly down the first base side. And that will score a run. Nice play from Brooks Pinning. Who grounds out but gets an RBI again on a Bunt. As Connell comes in to score and we are tied at two. So two away with nobody on. Tie ball game as Alex Eltsy watches the pitch go way behind him for ball number one. Eltsy struck out looking his first time up. That was back in the first inning. My bracket was looking all right. I had two Elite Eight teams after Thursday and Friday night. I could have had six. I needed Houston, Marquette, Creighton, and Gonzaga to all win. Would have had would have had six of the eight. All four of them lost. Bracket gone. Houston was my national champ. They're gone. It was a tough night. Pitch outside. Three balls, one strike, two away, nobody on here in the top of the third. Tied up at two. For Alex Elty, who struck out looking his first time. Would love to get on base and keep, keep the inning alive here for Crete. But boy, it was a tough night. There was so much promise. I probably would have been leading all of the bracket groups that I was in had that gone as planned. But of course, it never does. Inside, just missed. And that's the first walk for either team here this afternoon. And that will bring up Nick Went, who's one for one today with a single and an RBI back in the first inning. Wentz Went. in the catcher's gear this afternoon for the Cardinals. He was the one that brought in Tristan Linhoff to give Crete the 1-0 to zero lead back in the first inning. Mike said that he had Houston winning it all, too. So Friday was a tough night for us. Looked like Elsie thought about going for a moment. He got a pretty decent lead over there at first. So you wonder if Jesse will look him over a couple of times. 
on the pitch that missed high and outside. 1-0, swung on and missed. I feel like if Jamal Shedd would have been in that game, it would have been a much different outcome, unfortunately. One ball, one strike, two away, one on, top of the third. Tied it two, and there they throw it back to first and got him. I was saying he was getting such a lead over there at first, and you, will, I said, I wonder if Jesse's going to look over there. And instead of looking over, he said, I'll throw it over and get you out. So it's one hit, one walk, one run, and nobody left on. Well, we will be right back. If you're looking for a new career, Dollar General is looking for you. Hiring all positions and all shifts, they are looking for you with a starting pay up to $22 an hour with a $2,000 sign-on bonus. You can find details by going to dollargeneral.com slash careers or by texting DG Warehouse to 25000 Must be 18 or older, but again, starting pay up to $22 an hour with a $2,000 sign-on bonus. Contact them now, dollargeneral.com slash careers. Nebraska to get our new Wahoo Warrior branded debit card. Every transaction gives back to Wahoo Public Schools. All you need is a First Bank of Nebraska checking account and ask for the Warrior card. For more information, go to firstbanke.com. First Bank of Nebraska, serving our communities, investing in you. Member FDIC and equal housing lender. Stop at First Bank of Nebraska to get our new Wahoo Warrior branded debit card. Every transaction gives back to Wahoo Public Schools. All you need is a First Bank of Nebraska checking account and ask for the Warrior Card. For more information, go to firstbanke.com. First Bank of Nebraska, serving our communities, investing in you. Member FDIC and equal housing lender. Stop at First Bank of Nebraska to get our new Wahoo Warrior branded debit card. Every transaction gives back to Wahoo Public Schools. All you need is a First Back to Sam Crawford here on this Monday afternoon. Due up for the Warriors are their 9-1-2 hitters. And that brings up the second baseman, Caden Christen, who stands in the lefty box. As we're all tied up at two now here in the bottom of the third. After the leadoff double, for Carson Connell for Crete, who now steps back out on the mound, who was the one that basically got the game back tied. Two balls and a strike for Caden. We'll pull up his numbers here in a second. Pitch inside, trying to hit that bottom right corner of the zone. Caden this season for Wahoo in six games play, a 375 average. With 17 plate appearances, six hits, four RBIs, yet no extra base hits as of right now, and two runs scored. So a full count, swung on, out into deep center field, really deep and caught right in front of the fence by Linhoff. Well, that thing just kind of kept going, too. The center fielders have had some work today for both teams, really. So now we go to the top of the order for Wahoo Newman, as that'll bring up the Bishop Newman Cavalier, Isaiah Nagel, who's one for one today with a leadoff single in the first for Wahoo, and he came around to score on Nolan Van Slyke's single. And he looks at a first pitch strike on the outside part of the zone. Really, Caden got a pretty good contact on that ball, but it just kept going. Just, just got under it enough. Nagel, I don't think we looked at his numbers in the early going. He has 17 at-bats this year. Four hits, two RBIs, and a double. 
for the junior. And the 235 average is the leadoff man. The pitch, he grinds it over to third and down for a hit. As Stone, the third baseman, couldn't get there. And Peening, the shortstop, had to retreat all the way out in a shallow left to even pick it up. And Isaiah Nagels, two for two today with two singles. So five hits today for Wahoo. And a runner on first with one out. For Connor Booth, who's one for one today with a double, a stand-up double in the first. And he gets hit by the pitch. First time a batter for either team has been hit today. Nagel goes to second, Booth to first as the Warriors try and retake this lead here in the bottom of the third. Carson steps in to the lefty box. As he had an RBI back in the first inning, as he gr had a ground ball over to first that brought in Isaiah Nagel from third with Isaiah's speed. And it got Connor Booth to third, who then scored on Nolan Van Slyke's RBI out into right field. So Carson officially 0 for 1, but does have an RBI. Now a runner in scoring position with one out and a 1-0 count. Swan on, grounded to first. Svitok is there, and he will tag Carson out as both runners advance to third and second. Booth to second, Nagel to third, two away. Van Slyke steps up. He's out and left today defensively for Wahoo. With two away and two runners in scoring position for the Warriors trying to retake this lead. Nolan is one for one today as he roped one out in the right field for an RBI back in the first inning. Would like to add a little more to that tally. First pitch. It's popped up into shallow right field. Elsie has the run on it for out number three. Warriors had an opportunity with one hit, no walks, no runs, but two left on. We head to the top of the fourth, tied at two. You're tuned into Warrior Baseball on Saunders County Online. Standing. Choosing the right law firm to represent your interests and your rights is of the utmost importance. The law offices of Brome, Lindell, Freeman County, and Losterer traces its history of providing legal services to residents of eastern Nebraska back to 1893. So give us a call at 402 443 3225 or stop into our office in downtown Wahoo, Nebraska today. The outcome of a legal case can have long-lasting ramifications on your finances, quality of life, and community standing. Choosing the right law firm to represent your interests and your rights is of the utmost importance. The law offices of Brome, Lindell, Freeman County, and Losterer traces its history of providing legal services to residents of eastern Nebraska back to 1893. So give us a call at 402 402- 443-3225 or stop into our office in downtown Wahoo, Nebraska today. The outcome of a legal case can have long-lasting ramifications on your finances, quality of life, and community standing. Choosing the right law firm to represent your interests and your rights is of the utmost importance. The law offices of Brome, Lindell, Freeman County, and Losterer traces its history of providing legal services to residents of eastern Nebraska back to 1893. So give us a call at 402 402- 443-3225 or stop into our office in downtown Wahoo, Nebraska today. The outcome of a legal case can have long-lasting ramifications on your finances, quality of life, and community standing. Choosing the right law firm to represent your interests and your rights is of the utmost importance. The law offices of Brome, Lindell, Freeman County, and Losterer traces its history of providing legal services to residents of eastern Nebraska back to 1893. So give us a call at 402 402- 443-3225 or stop into our office in downtown Wahoo, Nebraska today. 
The outcome of a legal case can have long-lasting ramifications on your finances, quality of life, and community standing. Choosing the right... You're tuned in to Wahoo Bishop Newman Warrior Baseball on Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public YouTube. Austin and Norton here with you as we head to the top of the fourth. Tied at two between the Warriors and the Cardinals of Crete. And due up for the Cardinals, there are four, five, six hitters. And they look at a first pitch breaking ball from Stebbing in there for a strike as Nick Went, who was left at the plate after that top of the third inning, where Alex Eltz got picked off at first. Next pitch goes behind him. So that breaking pitch is either perfect or just a little bit too far inside. And when I mean too far inside, it's either over the top of a Cardinal head or behind a Cardinal altogether. Next pitch, low and grounded foul. Went is one for one today with an RBI single back in the first. He's in the catcher's gear today for Crete. The one two popped up into shallow right center field, and it is down for a hit. Oh, no, he did catch it. Yep, sorry. Thank you. The way he kept running. But it looked like, was it Sam who got there first? Sam Markson makes the play out there in center field. So the center fielders for both teams have really been pretty active. Out there, chasing a lot of balls that have gone over their head or made them run. This one's out into shallow right. And this one is caught by Isaiah Nagel for two quick outs. Left fielder, left fielder, Ethan and that brings out the left fielder, Ethan Plachik. He's 0 for 1 today with a ground out to Eli Johnston over there at first. As Jesse Stebbing is trying to go a quick 1 2 3 here in this top of the fourth and get his bats back up. First pitch swinging again. It's popped up again into shallow center several warriors get there and i think it was caught did sabatka catch that boy ryan sabatka from short he was the one that ran out there in shallow center for a quick out number three three up three down for the cardinals to the bottom of the fourth we go See, we aspire to be the pharmacy provider confidently chosen by our clients for their family's everyday health needs because of our expertise, integrity, and honestly consistently exceeding their expectations. Reliability, bright spot, value, integrity, community building, and so much more can be found at Medicine Man Pharmacy of Wahoo. At Medicine Man Pharmacy, and owned for 60 years, OOP Inc. is your Wahoo supplier for gas, diesel, propane, oil, grease, and products for your yard and acreage, including seed, fertilizer, and sprays to help keep your lawn and pastures beautiful. Find them online at OOPIncWahoo.com, call 402-443-3563, or stop by 3288 Ponderosa Drive. OOP Inc. serving for 60 years, thanks to you. Hot Oil and Propane is continuing to be family-run and owned for 60 years. OOP Inc. is your Wahoo supplier for gas, diesel, propane, oil, grease, and products for your yard and acreage, including seed, fertilizer, and sprays to help keep your lawn and pastures beautiful. Find them online at OOPIncWahoo.com, call 402-443-3563, or stop by 3288 Ponderosa Drive. OOP Inc. serving for 60 years, thanks to you. Hot Oil and Propane is continuing to be family-run and owned for 60 years. OOP Inc. is your Wahoo supplier for and pastures beautiful. Find them online at OOPIncWahoo.com. Call 402-443-3560. Coney Hesser steps up for Wahoo. Bishop Newman here in the bottom of the fourth, tied at two between the Warriors and the Cardinals of Crete. Cody in the cleanup spot. He's the designated hitter today for Wahoo. He's 0 for 1 as he struck out looking his first time up back in the first inning. And the pitch goes low and outside. Two balls and a strike. And big news kind of in this neck of the woods, especially here in Wahoo. 
Northwest Missouri State future hall, maybe already future Hall of Fame head coach Ben McCollum just took a big job in the state of Iowa today as Coach Mack will be headed to Drake University to coach the Bulldogs. And really, Coach Mack is, even when I was a student at Northwest, after he won back-to-back national titles, he was considered for a lot of D1 jobs. As Cody walks. And a visit on the mound for Crete. So Cody is on with nobody out for Wahoo. That is just the first walk of the day for Wahoo. But he's been considered for a lot of D1 jobs, or been rumored for, rumored for them at least, for the last several years. First baseman, Eli Johnston. As Eli Johnston steps up, he's one for one today with a leadoff single in the second. And then he got out on that unfortunate double play that Sam Markson hit into in that second inning where he roped one of the first baseman, Svitok, who then threw it over to Peening for the fourth out at second in the double play. But he had the single to lead off that inning and now has a runner on when nobody out shows bunt, pulls it back for a ball. Hester had a decent lead over there at first. I haven't seen Crete try a lot of pickoff plays here this afternoon, but as we get to the halfway point of this game, and a tie game, every base runner does create some nerves as he shows bunts again and pulls it back again on the pitch high and inside. Coach Mack at Northwest had a career 8-13 win percentage and several national championships for kind of the blue blood in Division Two in Maryville, Missouri of all places. Shows Bunt again inside, and I think that hit him. It did. So Johnston is on for the second time, and two are on with nobody out for the Warriors. As Hesser goes up to second for Jace Kaminsky. Third baseman, Jace Kaminsky. Jace is 0 for 1 today as he showed a bunt that got Eli Johnston to second. So it was what he was trying to do. But now with two on and nobody out, we'll see how he attacks this at bat. Kaminsky thought about showing bunt. And yeah, they called a balk. I was wondering because Kaminsky stepped out of the box before the pitch got there. And yep, he heard what we couldn't in the press box. A balk is called. So both runners advance. Cody Hesser goes to third, Johnston to second, and now you see how Kaminsky attacks this. With nobody out and the Warriors trying to have a big inning here and break away from this tie game. So that'll be quite the position to fill in the Division II level. Would be a coveted yet pressure job at Northwest Missouri State and it'll be interesting to see what Class C1 Player of the Year and State Champion Marcus Glock decides to do if he wants to stay because he loves Northwest Missouri State or did he love Coach Mack and want to see what else is out there but Kaminsky's down in the count 0-2 with 2 on and nobody out Off the end of the bat and foul. Kaminsky stays alive. And that's a heck of a hire for Drake, I'll tell you. He has been rumored for so many jobs around this area. and I think he was pretty close to the Buffalo job not too long ago. Strike three call on a pitch that looked a little bit outside. By a little, I mean maybe quite a bit outside on Kaminsky. But one is away now, and that was a big strikeout, to say the least, for Cottle out there on the mound. 
So back comes Sam Marks into play. He's 0 for 1 with a line out into a double play back in the second inning. An opportunity here with two runners in scoring position and a first pitch. I don't know where that one missed. Ball one. Next pitch inside, grounded to short. Runner comes home and is now caught in a rundown. They throw it back to third. And now sliding in. Safe! They say he's safe! The Warriors score on incredible base running by Cody Hesser. They say they got there safely as he dove in and got the left hand down on the bag. Crete head coach Will Rafferty coming out and having a, he was talking to the home plate umpire as he was wondering if Wint got the tag down but my goodness that's incredible base running by the Warriors so Cody Hesser scores from third Eli Johnston goes to third and Sam Markson goes all the way to second on the fielder's choice. Top of the Warriors order, right fielder Isaiah Nagel. Kristen goes down. Still two runners in scoring position here with two outs for the top of the order. And the Warriors leading this one. First pitch low. One ball. Runner at third is Eli Johnston. At second, it's Sam Markson. For Isaiah Nagel, who's two for two today with two singles. He scored in the first and was left stranded at third in the third. But the Warriors retake the lead here in the bottom of the fourth. Pitch low, just missed that bottom right corner. 2 0 the count. Nice pitch, swung on and missed. Big opportunity here for the Warriors to give them a little bit more of a cushion. Nice catch behind home plate for Wint to not allow that one to get to the fence, which would have scored Eli Johnston from third and put Sam at third. Right down the center, strike. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, two on, bottom of the fourth. Warriors leading it three to two. It's a walk and a hit batter. They always say a leadoff walk at all levels of this great game. Come back to hurt you. And it did here. This one is sent out into the gap in left center field. One run scores, two runs score, and it will be a double for Isaiah Nagel, who is red hot today for Wahoo on lead. So the Warriors get hit number six. As Nagel clears Johnston from third and Sam Markson from second. And here comes Connor Booth, who's one for one today with a double in the first. And then he was hit by a pitch in the third. First pitch right down the, oh, I thought it was. It's a ball. <laughs> Off the end of the bat, down the right field side and foul. Over the first base dugout.
off the end of the bat. One ball, two strikes, two outs, and a runner at second. Caught out in right field by Elsie and... That ends the side for the Warriors. After some damage, one hit, one walk. Three runs <laughs> and one left on. To the top of the fifth we go. Wahoo leads it 5-2. to two. You're tuned into Warrior Baseball. And we'll be right back after this. Lint season is here at the Wahoo DQ. We have a wild Alaskan fish sandwich. Get it in a meal with fries and a drink. We have a popcorn shrimp basket, which includes fries and a cocktail sauce. And finish your meal with a cool treat. Sundays, blizzards, malts, and shakes are everyone's favorites. Stop in or order yours ahead using the DQ app, and we'll have it ready when you arrive. The Wahoo DQ, located at 1122 North Chestnut in Wahoo. Lint season is here at the Wahoo DQ. We have a wild Alaskan fish sandwich. Get it in a meal with fries and a drink. We have a popcorn shrimp basket, which includes fries and a cocktail sauce. And finish your meal with a cool treat. Sundays, blizzards, malts, and shakes are everyone's favorites. Stop in or order yours ahead using the DQ app, and we'll have it ready when you arrive. The Wahoo DQ, located at 1122 North Chestnut in Wahoo. Lint season is here at the Wahoo DQ. We have a wild Alaskan fish sandwich. Get it in a meal with fries and a drink. We have a popcorn shrimp basket, which includes fries and a cocktail sauce. And finish your meal with a cool treat. Sundays, blizzards, malts, and shakes are everyone's favorites. Stop in or order yours ahead using the DQ app, and we'll have it ready when you arrive. The Wahoo DQ, located at 1122 North Chestnut in Wahoo. Lint season is here at the Wahoo DQ. We have a wild Alaskan fish sandwich. Get it in a meal with fries and a drink. We have a popcorn shrimp basket, which includes fries and a cocktail sauce. And finish your meal with a cool treat. Sundays, blizzards, malts, and shakes are everyone's favorites. Stop in or order yours ahead using the DQ app, and we'll have it ready when you arrive. The Wahoo DQ, located at 1122 North Chestnut in Wahoo. Lint season is here at the Wahoo DQ. We have a wild Alaskan fish. Warrior Baseball in Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public YouTube. Thanks to all of our sponsors for making it happen. Thanks to all of you for tuning in. Who didn't want to embrace the misty, cold Monday afternoon here in downtown Wahoo. Sam Crawford Field is our site. As the Warriors plate three in the bottom of the fourth and lead it five to two here in the top of the fifth. And do up for Crete are there seven, eight, nine hitters. And that will bring up Mason Stone, who's over at third today into the right-hand box. First pitch, a strike. Next pitch right down the center on another great breaking pitch from Jesse Stebbing. He's loved that pitch today. It's worked several times, and when it does work, boy, is it beautiful to watch from the vantage point we have right behind home plate. Pitch inside. It'll go right back over us. Here in the press box. Stone is 0 for 1 today with a ground out to Ryan Sabatka at short. Next pitch, swan on and miss, strike three. Good pitch from Stebbing again to pull the string. That's Jesse's third strikeout of the afternoon. Carson Sabatka. I don't know why I said Ryan. I knew it wasn't right when I said it. And that brings up Patton Svitok. He's 0 for 1 today as he's one of the three strikeouts for Jesse Stebbing. And that was back in the top of the second. First pitch swung on and missed. Twenty-two. That's Carter Twos now standing in there. And he gets hit. So it was a new batter for Crete, and he's on after being hit by a pitch. The first time Jesse's hit a Cardinal today. Of 
Now Carson Kotal will step in. He's one for one with a double in which he came in to score in the third inning on the Brooks Peening Fielder's Choice RBI. Connell's first pitch is found out of play. Connell showed bunt and then ducked out of the way of that breaking pitch. High and outside. Two balls and one strike. One out and one on. Here for Crete in the top of the fifth, trying to cut into this three-run deficit. Cardinals with three hits today. And two runs. Off the end of the bat, foul. Two balls, two strikes. The runner at first is Carter Twos, who got hit by a pitch, coming in to replace Patton Svitok. And the count's full now. After getting a leadoff strikeout, Jesse doesn't want to have two batters on without the ball being put in play. And a quick throw back to first. Two dives back safely, though. Thanks again to all of our sponsors. And that pitch is way inside and hits him. So back-to-back -back hit batters for Crete. Twos goes up to second, and Cottle's on for the second time today. And that gives Crete the top of the order now. Tristan Lindhoff, who's one for two today, will step in after the Warriors have a meeting on the mound. Tristan in the lefty box. He singled back in the first inning and came in to score on Nick Wentz RBI single. And then he flied out to right field in the top of the third inning. But now he has two runners on and a 1-0 count with one out. Jesse Stebbing trying to stay locked in for Wahoo Bishop Newman. Next pitch just misses high for ball two after he hit back-to-back -back Crete Cardinals in Carter Twos and Carson Cottle. Those are the two base runners. Outside. Outside. 
It's really one of the first times we've seen Stemming go 3-0 and to start out a, a count against Crete here this afternoon. And a four-pitch walk. Two hit batters and then a four-pitch walk, and the bases are loaded for Crete with the tying run now on first. Twos goes to third. Cottle goes to second. And the base is loaded here for Brooks Peening, who's 0 for 2 today with two ground outs to Jesse Stebbing. Wahoo starting to warm up some pitchers in their side of the bullpen. Peening in a big spot here with the bases loaded and one out. Walk. And the pitch inside called a strike. Needed that one after four straight balls. Really five straight. After the hit batter. Outside, one and one. One out, bases loaded. We'll see how Wahoo's defense attacks this. The corners are in with Kaminsky standing basically on the edge of the infield grass and Johnston doing the same. Inside, catches the zone. Here's the 0-2. Inside and high that time. Just barely high. He tried to go with that exact same pitch. Strike three called. Perfect pitch. It had painting looking at it the whole way. And it broke on the outside part of the strike zone for a massive out number two. Boy, that was huge for the Warriors and huge for Jesse Stebbing. As it now brings out the right fielder, Jesse, or Alex Eltsy, I should say, who's 0 for 1 today with a strikeout looking in the first inning. And then he walked in the third inning and was left at first. Or actually, he was the one that got out after he let off too much. He got picked off at first. Check swing, strike. Oh, and two again. Stebbing trying to get out of a bases loaded jam. Now has to try and stay alive. Anything close. The 0 2. Right down the center, swung on and missed. Strike three. After two hit batters and a four-pitch walk, Jesse Stebbing strikes out the next two Cardinals to end the side. Wow. No hits, one walk, no runs, and three left on. To the bottom of the fifth we go. Warriors still lead 5-2. to two. Warrior baseball will be right back after this. Three Or stop by 3288 Ponderosa Drive. OOP Inc. serving for 60 years thanks to you. Hot Oil and Propane is continuing to be family-run and owned for 60 years. OOP Inc. is your Wahoo supplier for gas, diesel, propane, oil, grease, and products for your yard and acreage, including seed, fertilizer, and sprays to help keep your lawn and pastures beautiful. Find them online at OOPIncWahoo.com, call 402-443-3563, or stop by 3288 Ponderosa Drive. OOP Inc. serving for 60 years thanks to you. Hot Oil and Propane is continuing to be family run and owned for 60 years. OOP Inc. is your Wahoo supplier for gas, diesel, propane, oil, grease and products for your yard and acreage, including seed, fertilizer and sprays to help keep your lawn and pastures beautiful. Find them online at OOPIncWahoo.com, call 402-443-3563, or stop by 3288 Ponderosa Drive. OOP Inc. serving for 60 years, thanks to you. 
Hot Oil and Propane is continuing to be family-run and owned for 60 years. OOP Inc. is your Wahoo supplier for gas, diesel, propane, oil, grease, and products for your yard and acreage, including seed, fertilizer, and sprays to help keep your lawn and pastures beautiful. Find them online at OOPIncWahoo.com, call 402-443-3563, or stop by 3288 Ponderosa Drive. OOP Inc. serving for 60 years thanks to you. Hot Oil and Propane is continuing to be family run and owned for 60 years. OOP Inc. is your Wahoo supplier for gas, diesel, propane, oil, grease and products for your yard and acreage, including seed, fertilizer and sprays to help keep your lawn and pastures beautiful. Find them online at OOP Inc. Wahoo. Warrior Baseball in Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public YouTube. Austin McNorton here with you in the bottom of the fifth. Warriors leading 5-2 after Crete leaves the bases loaded in their top half of the inning. And do it for the Warriors are their 3-4-5 hitters. Carson Sabatka stands in 0-2 today with two ground outs to first. As Crete has a new pitcher on the mound as Patton Svitak goes out on the mound. As he switches spots with Carson Kotal who goes to second to replace him. So they just switch spots. So the Warriors up by three, only needing six more outs defensively. We're going to add just a little bit more cushion. Sabatka grinds or <laughs> grounds it to second over to first in time for out number one. So Kotal looking good there at second. Immediately gets the ball hit his way and throws it to first in time for out number one. Nolan Van Slyke now steps in. He's one for two today with a RBI single in the first. And then he flew out to right field in the third inning. First pitch, breaking ball in there, strike one. So Patton Svitak with a little bit of a curve as well, similar to what we've seen Jesse Stebbing use very successfully today for Wahoo. And there's another pitch in there for a strike, 0-2. With one out and nobody on here for the Warriors in their half of the fifth. Next pitch off the end of the bat, down the right field side and foul. Warriors with six hits today and five runs. And that one grounded down the third base side and foul. So Van Slyke stays alive. Boy, what a great pitch that was from Patton Svitok as it catches the outside part of the strike zone. For a looking K on Nolan Van Slyke. Two up, two down. And here comes the designated hitter, Cody Hesser. Designated hitter, Cody Hesser. Cody is 0 for 1 today with a looking strikeout in the first inning. And then he had a leadoff walk in the fourth inning in which he came around to score on kind of a crazy play where Sam Markson grounded it to third and Cody got caught in a rundown in between home and third and was able to get home safely on a bane bane play at the plate his pitch is popped up in foul territory and caught I think yes oh now yeah there it is oh, the home plate umpire was looking at it for a bit but Patton Sweet Talk ran off the mound into foul territory for out number three. So the Warriors go three up, three down to the top of the six we go. Still leading five to two. Warrior Baseball will be right back. And Wahoo is a proud sponsor of this broadcast. Recognized as a great place to work, the folks at South Haven know the importance of teamwork and the reward that comes from serving older adults. If you're looking for senior care or a rewarding career with a Nebraska-based company, give them a call or check them out online, South Haven, 
www.southhavenlivingcenter.com. South Haven Living Center in Wahoo is a proud sponsor of this broadcast. Recognized as a great place to work, the folks at South Haven know the importance of teamwork and the reward that comes from serving older adults. If you're looking for senior care or a rewarding career with a Nebraska-based company, give them a call or check them out online, southhaven-wahoo.com. South Haven Living Center in Wahoo is a proud sponsor of this broadcast. Recognized as a great place to work, the folks at South Haven know the importance of teamwork and the reward that comes from serving older adults. If you're looking for senior care or a rewarding career with a Nebraska-based company, give them a call or check them out online, southhaven-wahoo.com. South Haven Living Center in Wahoo is a proud sponsor of this broadcast. Recognized as a great place to work, the folks at South Haven know the importance of teamwork and the reward that comes from serving older adults. If you're looking for senior care or a... Train going across the outfield as we head to the top of the sixth here at Sam Crawford Field in downtown Wahoo. Austin McNorton here with you on Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public YouTube for Warrior Baseball. Wahoo leads Crete 5-2 in the top of the sixth. Cardinals down to their final six outs as their four-hole hitter Nick Wint watches a pitch go inside for a strike. Nick is one for two today with an RBI single in the first, and then he lined out to center field in the fourth inning. And this one is smoked out into deep left field, and it is caught. Out there by Sam Markson, who's been great in the outfield today for the Warriors, for a quick out number one. That's the second time today that Sam Markson has gotten the best of Nick Wint. And that brings up Kenner Svitak, who's been over at first today defensively for the Cardinals with one away and nobody on. His first pitch is grounded and fair right on the first base side over to first. Nice throw from Connor Booth over to Johnston for out number two. So two quick outs for Jesse Stebbing, who really has been locked in ever since he hit back-to-back -back batters in Carter Twos and Carson Cottle. And then a four-pitch walk to Tristan Linhoff. He got two back-to-back -back strikeouts. And then an incredible less-than-six-pitch inning. One, two, three, go the Cardinals in order. As a ground out to Caden Christen at second. And to the bottom of the six we go. Wahoo still leading it. Five to two. You're tuned in to Warrior Baseball on Saunders County Online. If you're looking for a new career, Dollar General is looking for you. Hiring all positions and all shifts, they are looking for you with a starting pay up to $22 an hour with a $2,000 sign-on bonus. You can find details by going to dollargeneral.com slash careers or by texting DG Warehouse to 25000 Must be 18 or older, but again, starting pay up to $22 an hour with a $2,000 sign-on bonus. Contact them now, dollargeneral.com slash careers. Bank of Nebraska checking account and ask for the Warrior card. For more information, go to firstbanknne.com. First Bank of Nebraska, serving our communities, investing in you. Member FDIC and equal housing lender. Stop at First Bank of Nebraska to get our new Wahoo Warrior branded debit card. Every transaction gives back to Wahoo. Firm to Publishing. represent your interests and your rights is of the utmost importance. The law offices of Brome, Lindell, Freeman County, and Loster traces its history of providing legal services to residents of eastern Nebraska back to 1893. So give us a call at 402-443-3225 or stop into our office in downtown Wahoo, Nebraska today. The outcome of a legal case can happen. Bottom of the sixth here at Sam Crawford Field. Austin McNorton with you on Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public YouTube. For Warrior Baseball here on this cloudy, drizzly Monday afternoon in downtown Wahoo, Nebraska. To the bottom of the sixth we go. Wahoo leading Crete 5-2 and the first at-bat of the bottom of the sixth. Eli Johnson gets hit in the right knee. 
and we'll go to first. It's the second time today he's been hit by a pitch. Third baseman, Jace Kaminsky. And that brings up Jace Kaminsky, who's 0 for 2 today with a ground out to the catcher, which was a bunt that he brought Eli Johnson over the second. And then he struck out looking in the fourth inning. So one on, nobody out for Wahoo. In the bottom of the sixth, trying to add on a little more cushion to their three-run lead with only three Cardinal outs remaining in this one for a fifth Warrior victory on the season. Before quite the week ahead, schedule-wise for Wahoo, which schedules all kinds of crazy with, again, all the postponements and whatnot this season for Wahoo. But the rest of their schedule is pretty wild this week as the Warriors will take on Ron Colley Catholic tomorrow afternoon on the road. And then they will play in a triangular at Fort Calhoun. Strike called on the bunt and then throw back to first safely. 0-1 with nobody out. So that Fort Calhoun triangular I think also includes Central City. Yep. And that's on Thursday. And then Friday, the Warriors are on the road at Elkhorn, which will also not be easy on Friday night. So quite the slate of games this week for the Warriors. Four games in five days. Well, yeah. Well, hold on. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five games in five days. This Biss pitch called a strike. Thrown back to first. It goes into right field. Oh, wow. Yeah, so that is an out as Kaminsky's bunt attempt did get caught by Wint, who then tried picking off Johnson at first for the double play. Center fielder, Sam Markson. So an unlucky play there for Kaminsky. And that brings up Sam Markson, who's 0 for 2 today with a fielder's choice. And then he came in to score on Isaiah Nagel's RBI double. And then he lined into a double play back in the second inning. He's down 0-1 with one out and one on here for Wahoo in the bottom of the sixth. Off the end of the bat foul. The Cardinals' final three outs. It will go to their bottom of the order, which has honestly been somewhat successful. Carson Connell's been on base twice. And this one's hit back off the fence. No balls, two strikes, one out, one on for Wahoo. Leading 5-2 to two here in the bottom of the sixth. Thanks to a big fourth inning for the Warriors when it was tied at two. They had a leadoff walk, a hit batter, and then Isaiah Nagel's big double and a strike three looking on Sam Markson. Two away now. Eli Johnson still stands at first after he was hit by a pitch, and here comes Caden Christen. He's 0 for 2 today with a fly out to center and a pop out to third. The ball gets away from Wint. It just kind of got stuck and lost underneath his legs, and so Johnson goes up in a scoring position for Wahoo over to second. So now we'll see how Caden attacks this from the lefty batter box. The pitch broke and caught the zone for a strike. Great-looking pitch there. From Patton Svitak, who came in relief in the last inning and made quick work, one, two, three. One ball, one strike, two outs, and a runner at second. This pitch goes high, two and one. Low, and it gets away from Wint again. And so Johnston will now go to third. After a couple of pitches, just kind of get underneath the glove of Wint behind home plate. 
two away, but now a runner at third for Caden Kristen. And a 3-1 count for Caden as well. We'll see how aggressive he is. Outside, that's ball four. And Caden is on for the first time today with a walk. Just the second walk of the day for the Warriors. But importantly, it brings back up the nuisance for the Cardinals today, Isaiah Nagel. He is three for three with a single in which he came in to score, a single in the third, and then an RBI double in the fourth, which has gotten the Warriors their big lead. As Caden Christen goes up to second without a throw, so two runners in scoring position once again for Isaiah Nagel. So the last time he was in this situation, he was able to bring in Eli Johnston and Sam Markson in to score on his double that was hit out into the gap out in right center field. 1-0, and oh, two away and two on for the leadoff man for Wahoo. Nagel outside and low, and that was a good save that time for Wint to keep that one in front of him. Out of all the pitches that have kind of gotten away from him, that one was impressive to keep in front. This pitch is grounded down the third base side, and it is fair deep into the corner. Another big hit for Isaiah Nagel, who's been spectacular today for the Warriors. Add a couple more RBIs to his total and a second double. Wow. Johnston scores from third. Kristen scores from second. So the Warriors now with a big lead, 7-2. to two, Thanks to Isaiah Nagel, who has been spectacular today for Wahoo. This pitch gets away again under the glove of Wint, and Nagel goes up to third. A couple of times here that's happened for Connor Booth. He's one for two today with a double back in the first inning. He was hit by a pitch in the third, and then he flew out to center back in the fourth. Checked his swing, called a strike. One ball, one strike, two outs, and a runner at third. The Warriors lead 7-2 to now. Inside and turned on. And it is dropped by Plachik out in left field. Boy, it looked like he had an argument for getting a glove underneath it. And it's a base hit for Connor Booth and another RBI for the Warriors and another run. Wahoo now leads it 8-2 to two here in the bottom of the sixth. As Plachik out there in left... Made an argument that he got his glove underneath it. And that's what the Cre coaching staff was kind of curious about also. It was tough to see. But Wahoo now got three more runs. Here at the very least in this bottom of the sixth. With a big lead now, eight to two here in the bottom of the sixth, and Crete only three outs left for them. Two outs here with a runner at first now. For Carson Sabatko, who's 0 for 3 today, surprisingly for the Warriors. And his first pitch goes outside. Booth stands at first. Or did they bring in a courtesy runner for him? I think it is. Pitch high and outside. Twelve for the Warriors is Alex Berry. Is he standing over there at first? So it is Berry who's running for Booth. 
This one is popped up in foul territory down the left field side and foul. How about these Warriors from the fourth inning on? They have been really good at battling pitches at the plate. Swan on and missed that time from Carson Sabatka. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Runner at first is Alex Berry. For the Warriors leading it, 8-2 to two here in the bottom of the sixth. And Svitak will step off the rubber, look back at first, and reset. And now the home plate umpire will come out for a moment. As the home plate umpire will talk to Wint and Svitak out there kind of collectively. Not sure what about. Two balls, two strikes, two outs for Carson Sabatka with a runner at first. Off the end of the bat, into foul territory, down the third base side, and out of play. Carson's numbers this season, a 348 average. In 23 at-bats, has eight hits, four RBIs, and two doubles. Pretty good numbers. Right back up the middle and under the legs. It was gloved by Cottle behind second, but that'll be a single for Carson Sabatka, who does get on base for the first time today. As Alex Berry got to second. So the inning stays alive for Wahoo with two on and two outs now here in the bottom of the sixth. And another base hit for the Warriors. Who are now up to nine this afternoon. Barry at second. Sabatka at first. Breaking pitch misses high into Nolan Van Slyke, who's one for three today with an RBI single back in the first, a fly out to right in the third, and a strikeout looking in the fifth. The one one is low and outside two and one. Two on and two outs. This all started with Eli Johnson getting hit on really the first pitch of the inning. Kaminsky got an unfortunate out and this one's grounded to third and stepping on the bag is stone himself for out number three well what an inning it was for wahoo though three hits one walk three runs and two left on we head to the top of the seventh the warriors lead it eight to two and we'll be right back after this sandwich get it in a meal with fries and a drink we have a popcorn shrimp basket which includes fries and a cocktail sauce and finish your meal with a cool treat sundays blizzards malts and shakes are everyone's favorites stop in or order yours ahead using the dq app and we'll have it ready when you arrive the wahoo dq located at 1122 north chestnut in wahoo Lent season is here at the Wahoo DQ. We have a wild Alaskan fish sandwich. Get it in a meal with fries and a drink. We have a popcorn shrimp basket, which includes fries and a cocktail sauce. And finish your meal with a cool treat. Sundays, blizzards, malts, and shakes are everyone's favorites. Stop in or order yours ahead using the DQ app, and we'll have it ready when you arrive. The Wahoo DQ, located...
Thanks to our sponsors on Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public YouTube. Awesome Norton here with you. As it's a pinch hitter, Ramos pops it up on the infield. Sabatka underneath it for a one-pitch out here to start out the top of the seventh. And that will bring up to the plate. It looks like another pinch hitter for Crete. That's number 34, Kale Burkhart. He looks at the first pitch low and outside. As the Warriors looking to get win number five on the season before quite the week. This is their first of five games here this week for the Warriors. In a game tomorrow against Ron Colley Catholic. A triangular on Thursday against Fort Calhoun in Central City. And then a game on Friday at Elkhorn. Swan on and missed. For strike number one. Two balls, one strike, one out, nobody on here for Crete as they're down eight to two here in this top of the seventh. And this one grounded back up the middle. Sabatka gets a glove on it over to first. The stretch for out number two. Heck of a stretch by Johnson over there first for the Warriors. And here comes Carson Kotal representing the final out for the Cardinals. He started out the game on the mound. Now he's over at second. He's one for one today with a double in the third in which he came around to score on Brooks Peening's fielder's choice. And then he was hit by a pitch in the fifth. This one's popped up into center field. Sam Markson. Makes the catch on the run, and that's the ball game. What a incredible day of work for Jesse Stebbing on the mound for Wahoo as the Warriors win it by a final score of 8-2. to two. What a ball game it was for Wahoo. We will take a break, thank all of our sponsors, and when we come back, we'll break down your final stats and hopefully get a chance to talk to Warrior Player of the Game, Isaiah Nagel. Don't go anywhere. Warrior Baseball on Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public YouTube. We'll be right back after this. If you're looking for a new career, Dollar General is looking for you. Hiring all positions and all shifts, they are looking for you with a starting pay up to $22 an hour with a $2,000 sign-on bonus. You can find details by going to dollargeneral.com slash careers or by texting DG Warehouse to 25000. Must be 18 or older, but again, starting pay up to $22 an hour with a $2,000 sign-on bonus. Contact them now, dollargeneral.com slash careers. All you need is a First Bank of Nebraska checking account and ask for the Warrior Card. For more information, go to firstbanknne.com. First Bank of Nebraska, serving our communities, investing in you. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Stop at First Bank of Nebraska to get our new Wahoo Warrior branded debit card. 
Every transaction gives back to Wahoo Public Schools. Long-lasting ramifications on your finances, quality of life, and community standing. Choosing the right law firm to represent your interests and your rights is of the utmost importance. The law offices of Brome, Lindell, Freeman County, and Loster traces its history of providing legal services to residents of eastern Nebraska back to 1893. So give us a call at 402 443-3225 443-3225 or stop into our office in downtown Wahoo, Nebraska today. The outcome of a legal case can have long-lasting... We aspire to be the pharmacy provider confidently chosen by our clients for their family's everyday health needs because of our expertise, integrity, and honestly consistently exceeding their expectations. Reliability, bright spot, value, integrity, community building, and so much more can be found at Medicine Man Pharmacy of Wahoo. At Medicine Man Pharmacy, we aspire to be the pharmacy provider confidently chosen by our clients for their family's everyday health needs because of our expertise, integrity, and honestly consistently exceeding their expectations. Reliability, bright spot, value, integrity, community building, and so much more can be found at Medicine Man Pharmacy of Wahoo. Thanks so much for tuning in to Warrior Baseball in Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public YouTube. Austin McNorton here with you for our post-game report as Wahoo wins it over the Cardinals of Crete by a final score of 8-2. to two. Let's go ahead and look at your scoring breakdown and your stats today for the Cardinals. They had two runs on three hits, two walks, and four batters left on base. Tristan Lindhoff, he went one for two. Um, Nick Went he went one for three. Let's see. And Carson Cottle went one for two as well. And now we're talking to Warriors player of the game. And what a successful day it was for Wahoo. Looking at their team totals, they had eight runs on nine hits, two walks, and five batters left on base. And we're talking to the Warrior right here. A victorious day for Isaiah Nagel, the junior from Bishop Newman. And Isaiah, what a special day it was for you, man. Four for four, two doubles, a couple of singles. And in a day like this, let's start first with the weather. Cold, misty, just kind of one of those tough kind of days to play baseball. But, boy, you guys played really well today. What's kind of the mindset going into a game like this? You know, you might start out thinking that it's a little cold, but you kind of just got to tune that out. And that's kind of what I was thinking about today. Like, everyone, we're both, both teams are playing in this condition, so – it's which team comes out uh, thinking they'll do better that And day. before we get to the offense and how successful you guys were right from the get-go, talk about your pitcher on the mound today. Jesse was really dealing, and, and he kind of got into some jams, bases loaded, and he was just able to find his way out of it. Talk about how special he was. You know, so far in the offseason, uh, I've been catching Jesse a lot for bullpens, and he's always on uh, curveball, fastball, changeup. It's all there. And I think with the way Steb thinks, it's that, he can get out of any situation no matter what with any pitch on any day on any count. So nine hits for you guys today. And like I said, it it really was from the beginning. You guys were aggressive. What was kind of the mindset when you stepped into the batter's box? And especially for you, four for four today with a couple doubles. That's a special day. Uh, So Coach Wires always says, you know, have a mentality going up. First pitch, fastball, usually the best pitch you'll see. Uh, After that, it's just – have that mindset and mentality that you're going to find a way to put the ball in the play because t- with a day like today, watching some in and outs, maybe teams kick the ball around a little bit. So that was the mi- mindset for all of us going up to bat is put the ball in the play. And with an incredibly crazy week on the road against Ron Colley Catholic tomorrow and then a triangular in Fort Calhoun on Thursday and then you travel to Elkhorn on Friday, it's five games in five days. How important was it for you guys to get off on the right foot here on your only home game of the week? I think starting off right with a win at home is going to help us and propel us into some more wins throughout the rest of the week, at least starting off good with a win like this today. Do you feel like you guys are starting to get into a little bit of a groove with how up and down the schedule has been with postponements and cancellations, and now Sam Sam Markson is back mm-hmm. on the team and, and some of those kind of things. Do you feel like you're starting to kind of hit your stride a little bit? I think now we're figuring out what works best for us, and we're kind of stre- uh, hitting our step now, and I think we're gonna, we'll are gonna we see better baseball from this team but I think as of now we're hitting a good spot where we'll keep going up from here well Isaiah a heck of a day for you congratulations on the win and uh, hopefully we'll talk to you next week yep thank you that's Isaiah Nagel with us 1122 North Chestnut in Wahoo
Lent season is here at the Wahoo DQ. We have a wild Alaskan fish sandwich. Get it in a meal with fries and a drink. We have a popcorn shrimp basket, which includes fries and a cocktail sauce. And finish your meal with a cool treat. Sundays, blizzards, malts, and shakes are everyone's favorites. Stop in or order yours ahead using the DQ app, and we'll have it ready when you arrive. The Wahoo DQ, located at 1122 North Chestnut in Wahoo. And welcome back to our post-game show. Thanks so much to Bishop Newman Jr. Isaiah Nagel for coming up into our broadcast booth as the Warriors are victorious. Final score, Wahoo 8, Crete 2. And what a special day it was for Isaiah. The Warriors had nine hits, two walks, eight runs, and five batters left on base. Let's go ahead. Isaiah Nagel, he was four for four today with two singles and two doubles. Connor Booth, he was two for three today with a double, a single. Um, Carson Sabanka, he went one for four today. Um, looks like Eli Johnson, he went one for one today, and he reached base three times as he was hit by a pitch twice. And then Caden Kristen was able to draw a walk. Sam Markson reached on a fielder's choice with an RBI, and so everyone was really effective from top to bottom today. But uh, hats have to go off as well to Jesse Stebbing, who you heard Isaiah talk about how locked in he was and how much he worked throughout the offseason. Isaiah said he caught behind him throughout the offseason, and he's been working really hard, and boy, did he have his stuff today. He was even in a bases-loaded jam and then struck out the next two batters. I mean, he was absolutely spectacular. <coughs> Excuse me, as the Warriors get win number five, and what a week it is for Wahoo, so follow along. As the Warriors, the best you can on Twitter, all the all the places you can see how the Warriors do throughout the rest of this week. They'll be on the road, Ron Colley Catholic. They'll be in Fort Calhoun against two games on Thursday. And then they will be at Elkhorn on Friday night. And we will be back here at Sam Crawford Field as the Warriors' next home game, I believe, is next Monday. So a week from today, as Wahoo will be back here on Monday and will take on new team as michael klein said to came a herman new team new baseball kind of collaboration to came a herman they'll be here at sam crawford field a week from today but the warriors get an important win number five and as you heard isaiah say kind of start off on the right foot before a crazy week ahead final score with wahoo eight creek two thanks so much for tuning in to wahoo bishop newman warrior baseball on saunders county online and Wahoo Public YouTube, thanks to all of our sponsors for making it happen. Thanks to all of you for tuning in here on this cloudy Monday afternoon. For Austin McNorton saying so long, enjoy the rest of your week, and go Warriors.